All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm already out on the water because I got up late and uh, yeah, I am doing what I normally do and all of you should be doing by this point if you live in the upper Midwest. Um, before the ice season starts, I always get out on the lake. Uh, I get out on as many as I can on the nicest days possible. Usually this time of year, it's horrible out here. So this is just a nice day and I'm gonna take advantage of it because normally I don't have this many days to get out in the boat, but uh, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, if you're new here, if you skip all this stuff, it's just going to bite you in the butt in the long run because one, if I hit 20,000 subscribers for this winter, I'm going to take as many people out fishing as I can like coordinate. Uh, basically, I have all the ice fishing stuff. You can bring some of your stuff, but I just want to get some people out this winter and show you guys what I do and how fun it can be to go ice fishing. Two, if I get 100,000 subscribers anytime soon, I'm going to be giving that squealer away, but uh, yeah. You guys don't want to skip stuff like this. If if you do, you're just missing out, like I said. But the number one thing I'm doing today is I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be looking for big bluegills and big crappies. Uh, that's the first two things I usually target for first ice. Uh, sometimes I get lucky and I can get on a walleye spot and I do have minnows. So if I, if I find some walleye or, or whatever, I'm not going to say no. I'm just going to make a mental note in my head. That's where they were. And uh, yeah, I'll go back to that first ice. That's the biggest trick is like, where the fish are right now in November are where the fish are going to be in December. <laughs> it's that simple. So let's try to go get some. Okay. The easiest thing to start off with this time of year, little jig, slip bobber, and a red worm. Okay. So I started off today with a slip bobber and a small piece of worm, but I couldn't get anything to bite, so I'm, out. I'm just kind of out over the abyss right now. I think the fish are still suspended out deep, so that's kind of what I'm dealing with is trying to figure out what these fish are doing. They do a lot of crazy things right before the ice up, so I do know that normally they are feeding, so hopefully I can get, get one of those guys that's feeding. I know there's some very, very large crappie in this lake. I wouldn't mind getting one of those and then uh, this is a lake that has big bluegills in it too but I've never been able to track them through the fall okay so I've gone over a couple of fish here and uh, they were not eating my minnow so I have a feeling they're probably some of those bigger bluegills they're down on the bottom in about 17 feet of water we will see. They could be perched too. This lake has a lot of good fish in it. got something just kind of drifting here and then ooh I know what that is <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is not a crappie dude that was awesome <laughs> first fish of the day is a uh, pretty much a one pound plus bluegill giant female I'm gonna get a picture of this thing. I need to, uh, I need to apparently switch up my tactics for the winter. I'm gonna set her in here for a second. <laughs> well, that's the first freak of the day. She won't sit normal. <laughs> there we go. All they gotta say is, these guys never get old. That, I mean, I'm gonna measure it real quick. I'll put it on the bump board before I let it go, but that's over a 10 inch bluegill. And over a pound. I don't have my scale with me because I wasn't planning on getting any giants today. This thing is just massive. Oh. Man, that is almost an 11 inch bluegill. <laughs> oh man, it's right there. <laughs> that is a freak. All right, let's get her back. Thank you. 
I could do that all day. <laughs> so this lake, this lake has me uh, confused by a lot. So I can find those guys <laughs> open water, but when I come out here ice fishing, they just disappear. God, that would that would trip me out if I hooked that thing through the ice. I mean, that it's cool open water, but like ice fishing is just one of those things. Like it gets so much harder. But I think that's why I like to struggle. Anyways, <laughs> so that's one. And I have an idea now, like, where I'm at, why that fish might be around here. But I'm going to guess they just kind of roam. So one of the things I'm going to think about in my head, and this is something I'm trying to teach you guys. When I go ice fishing, I like to uh, hole hop a lot and move around a lot. And sometimes that is detrimental. Sometimes it's not good to do that. Um, so this might be an area where I set up and I sit for like an allotted like two, three hours at a time before I even try and drill another hole. Because I those fish, I have to think those fish are just roaming around and you're just trying to get one to come underneath your hole. But even one of those guys, I mean, that was almost 11 inch bluegill. <laughs> Most people would have put that on the wall. I have caught an 11 and, uh, what was it? 11 three quarters is my biggest bluegill. Or no, that's my pumpkin seed and then 11 and a half or 11 and a quarter is my biggest bluegill. I'm trying to get 12s. That's like my giant, giant, giant. That or a two pound bluegill because I basically legit almost caught a two pound bluegill now. So <laughs> this is awesome. Thumbs up for extremely late fall discoveries. So yeah, let's catch some more fish. Okay, so I don't know if that just came across to you when I was fishing, but I had that bait just kind of sitting on the bottom and it was just sitting there and that girl thumped it like th that thing really really hit it hard um i'm still not sure if i need to just f fish out here in the winter time with red worms or what but she couldn't pass it up and uh yeah i'm gonna see if i can find a couple more of those i'm on just a big flat here just so you guys understand so there's nothing really holding these fish here but i think they're uh i think they're feeding on something i wish i knew what they were feeding on That's something else. I think it's another one. Like I said, I think they're just roaming out here. Oh. Finally found one of those guys. I don't know if I caught, I said it at the beginning, but slabs like, uh, they like red worms too this time of year. I mean, he's about 12, 12 and a half inches long. Like to get some of the giants. So all I'm using is this chartreuse jig head. It's like a 1 32nd or 1 64th ounce. So real small and like a quarter piece of red worm. Just kind of drifting it along. something bigger what are you oh <laughs> I was not expecting that <laughs> oh that's cool this thing's huge this is only four pound test on you <laughs> that was sick Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that thing is so dark. Oh my god, you guys gotta see this thing. <laughs> that guy is a chunk. I was not expecting that. I'm trying to get these panfish and this guy just came in and smoked it. Dude, they are so fun right now. This is a cold water species, if you guys didn't know. But uh, yeah, they just they get all they get all tuned up and angry this time of year. I'm gonna get this thing back.
I could do that. <laughs> I could do that a couple times. That was fun. That's only four pound test. Oh, it's been a while. I, you guys don't know this, but like October was screwy. November is screwy. It's been up, down, up, down, crazy winds, crazy storms, snow in October. Those of you guys that have been paying attention to my Instagram, my socials. So Facebook is DWS Outdoors on Facebook. Freaking uh, DWS Dave 31 on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, follow me over there. I've been hunting some walleye at night. And uh, yeah, this is a big change from that. So um, I'll take a little bit of lack of sleep if I can get some more big fun fish like that. Those guys are fun through the ice too. If you guys haven't seen it, I've got a bunch of smallmouth videos through the ice. I'm trying to get better at catching those. Comment below if you guys want to see more of those videos. Either way, I'm still going to do it because it's so much fun. But yeah, on to the big panfish again. <laughs> okay, I missed the hook set on this thing. What are you? <laughs> Another giant bluegill? Yep. <laughs> Another giant female just barely hooked. God, they're so solid in the fall. So this is only like an 8 inch fish, but I can't get my hands around it because of how freaking thick they are in the fall. That's so cool. <laughs> I missed the hook set on that because I was messing around with my camera, but you get the you get the gist. That was fun. Fish. know what that is just drifting along here on this flat still feels big what are you oh. there's one of those big pigs See how big this one is. That's what I was looking for. Mouth closed on the bump board and 12 and 3 quarters. That's a pretty nice fish. Great colors on these things right now. Get that guy back right away. I might have got lucky here. I found myself a school of big crappies. We'll see if there's any bigger ones. Actually, well, minnows for the first time this year because I figured with the cold water they wouldn't be chasing baits, but they are chasing the gulp. But I might as well use the minnows while I have them. Yeah. <laughs> One thing about crappie, you drop a minnow in their face. <laughs> they, they have a hard time refusing it. That's three. This dude's literally got a leech inside of his mouth. I'll be nice and help him out. I don't know who was eating who there. I think there's a decent sized school down there I went over. <laughs> Thump. That one feels better. A little chunk here. Come here. Those of you guys wondering why I don't keep crappie out of this lake, they have that zarcoma stuff, whatever that's called kind of gross but even though they're kind of gross they get kind of big out here and uh, they're gonna make use of my minnows for me
That doesn't feel like a crappie. Is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> healthy slab. I will take it all day long. I think I might have found the school so I'm gonna see if I can put a bigger minnow on and see if that gets one of the bigger ones to come out and play. Sometimes with crappie the bigger bait really does equal the bigger fish so we will see. Either way catching these guys repeatedly is uh, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Thump. <laughs> That's a little bit bigger one. There's a 13. Getting bigger. My personal best is 16, so we got a ways to go, but. I'm gonna be having fun trying. Okay guys, it's getting a little bit late in the day and I still wanna uh, cruise around this lake looking for some other stuff. Um, now that I have an idea of where the crappie are, I have like three other species I wanna chase, but I'm gonna make a different video on that. Um, basically, I, I'm just gonna check out all these different areas that I think fish should be in. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, basically just trying to figure out where the fish go first ice and then like how the ice season progresses and stuff um, I don't just know every lake like people think that I might just be given the answers or something like that I go out and I break down lakes and I keep working at them until I understand the lake and then I can go have fun on it so like in the winter time if I understand it I can go drill holes in certain spots and catch fish hopefully you guys understand that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed some slabs today that was pretty fun and those gigantic bluegills uh that 11 or, well it's not 11 that was 10 and three quarters basically that's we're getting up there if i get a if i get an 11 or a 12 inch bluegill i will probably cry so <laughs> thumbs up for fun times and uh yeah hopefully you guys understood the mission for this ice season let's get to 20,000 subs so i can take some of you guys fishing see you guys next time